All right, it is time for a backyard summer bash. That's right, it seems everyone is having a party outside this time of year. Here to show us how to host our very own, in style of course, is our lifestyle expert and friend, Mandy Landefeld. Hi, Hi. Amy. I am so excited. The, the crew is going crazy over this beautiful spread as per usual. They're, all, they're only in it for the banana pudding. Yeah, okay. We're gonna, and Deborah's banana and pudding. And Deborah's banana pudding. <laughs> We're gonna get to that in just a minute. But as per usual, Mandy knows the way to my heart is through a beautiful summer cocktail. And what do we have here? So we are making the perfect summer punch, which okay. is a peachy bourbon lemonade. <gasps> yeah. I know. And it's not too strong. It's totally sippable. See, easy to make. And it's easy, easy, easy to make because you're basically using things you have on hand anyway. Okay, and good. And you can make it in advance. You can even make it and let it sit overnight. Overnight, too. and that'll work. So Perfect. our ingredients for this one is really good lemonade. Make sure it's the kind that like has the pulp in it and it's, yes. it's like good lemonade. Right. You, you don't need to go to the trouble it. of making your own, but right. get good lemonade. You're out of your bar bourbon. Got it. Favorite bourbon. It doesn't have to be, again, high quality crazy, but it just needs to be a good solid bourbon. Fresh peaches mint and club soda. Yummy. And so we're gonna make a I jar, a jug of it. And okay. I already have our good lemonade in here. And what this peach part is, this is puree, peach puree. I took the fresh peaches and I pureed it with a little bit of the lemonade that we're already putting in here mm -hmm. in my food processor. You really? can use, or in my blender, you can use regular peach puree from the can, but it's gonna be sweeter and it's not gonna taste as much like our beautiful Georgia peaches. Okay, so, okay? Just so do we're it gonna this just way. pour that in there. Perfect. And and see, it smells really like oh. super peachy. Oh my god. And gosh. with that, we're gonna add our bourbon. This is beautiful. And like a cup of bourbon, two, three cups of Whoa. lemonade. <laughs> Listen, it's me. going a lot. Go Glug, 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 glug. How do I have left I in know, the show? Know, that was a lot. But see, you can cut it with some club soda, and you yes. can even do the peach-flavored sparkling water. Okay. If you have, like, not, you know, if you have some delicate flowers in your group. This looks amazing. As opposed to me. So here. <laughs> as opposed to as me. As opposed to me. I'm the hard hey, hitter. Listen, uh, I've been getting into bourbon the last few years. I know. I'm like, I'm and trying. You have turned me. Basically, because I've been here. Okay, That's why exactly. she starts to like bourbon. But by the way, if somebody does not like bourbon, just really quickly, could we alternate? Gin. Vodka. vodka. I mean, Either. you could even make a beautiful little tequila drink if you wanted to, but that's not too strong. This is amazing. You could sip on that. No, oh, this, afternoon. This is, okay. <laughs> All right. Don't All right. You love it? Yeah. Okay. So now. Okay. Okay. The one thing I love about Mandy is everything looks beautiful. Everything is delicious, but she also really tries to make it easy on us. Quick prep. Yes. Quick, quick, quick prep. So when you are hosting a barbecue, sometimes you have some people that don't like pork. They don't do this. They don't do. Everyone will eat a grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah. Pretty there much. ain't nobody, pretty much, except Lisa said the vegans. I'm like, we're not talking about them because it's a barbecue. Right. But. <laughs> so, Sorry, Megan. We got something for you over I know, there. I love it. Well, you can make a veggie sandwich, but if you True. take chicken breasts, which nowadays are like a, a stinking pterodactyl, okay, you're going to take them and you're going to cut them in ha like across the equator, like okay. across the hemisphere, and make little cutlets, and that gives you more surface area to marinate. It'll cook real quicker, all that stuff. But okay. do yourself a favor and pick up just a bottle of your store-bought herb garlic marinade. Okay. Plop it in a in a in a big Ziploc bag and then marinate them for grilling later. Make Got a it. spread with good buns, some yummy cheese. I grill up my veggies, my like peppers and onions. Yeah, me too. You know, cause some people don't like raw onions and make a beautiful platter so people can do all that. Okay. So we're gonna grab our drinks. Love it. And then we have a, um, a all of our condiments in a tray. So it makes it so much easier. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, and I love those little hot dog baskets that are, oh, yeah. I mean, they're so much cuter than like a paper plate. You feel like you're at a barbecue yes. and they're super cheap. Okay. Like they're super cheap. All right, there so we go. Use okay, those. Quickly, okay, so, so quickly we we're gonna go salad. ahead and make our salad. We've got a grilled corn salad mm -hmm. that is delicious. And mm -hmm. I want you to have, and you can have a bite even of the chicken yeah, and everything. Yeah, mix it all in. So the ingredients for this are corn, fresh corn that you're just gonna pop on the grill when you're preparing. Mm. I know, right? Mm. And Campari tomatoes, which we quartered, some yummy mozzarella, and then we made this herb dressing with basil and mint and honey and extra virgin olive oil, and that just gets this screams drizzled. summertime Summer. freshness. But I know, so fresh, right. delicious, loosey goosey dressing. Don't make it too thick and heavy. Right. It's amazing. So good. All right. Amazing. Now this is the part yeah. we have all been just. Aunt Deborah. Well, it's all, it all is great. But tell me about Aunt Deborah's banana pudding. So Aunt Deborah is my my aunt in Louisiana who 
I love. She's all of like five four or whatever. She's, she's married to my tallest uncle who's six foot nine. Oh, so, I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> there are peas in a pot. That so, is awesome. But she makes this banana pudding that everyone like salivates over and I would never dare to deviate from her recipe. So in here, here, Shall go ahead and I'll give it a little that. wiggle. And by the way, as she's telling us how to prepare it and what we need, the Chew crew is, is digging in. Digging in and they are gonna give us right. a thumbs up and tell us how Aunt Deborah does it right, okay? So our ingredients for this oh, is, yeah. I know, <laughs> and it's so good. How is it, delicious? Good. Okay, tell me the ingredients. Okay. I'm gonna make this this weekend. We've got whipped <laughs> topping. I know, it's so good. <laughs> So your your regular whip topping, um, vanilla pudding, not banana pudding, but vanilla pudding. Vanilla. The, bana the banana flavor's coming from real bananas. Oh my and God. then sweetened condensed milk, good milk. I don't use skim milk in this circumstance, no. but 2% would work fine. And try and find vanilla wafers that have the little vanilla beans in them. Ooh. They're so good. I love it, and that good. extra touch of the yeah. vanilla. Yes, How is everybody's it good, going crazy. Good, good. Okay. okay, and then just do them all in little mason jars. You can see our mason jars here, which I'm going to give you one. Yep. And which we've layered everything together. You guys, how precious, precious. I know. Okay. Cute, 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 cute. And for all of these delicious recipes and so much more, please follow her. It is sumptuousliving.net. Mm -hmm. Sumptuousliving.net. Yum, 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 yum. That's unbelievable. My dessert is going to be Aunt more Deborah. than a cocktail, though. These recipes will be on her website and ours as well, sumptuousliving.net. Okay.